about vital signs, and we're going to focus on blood pressure. Um, so I have a handout for you. So if you look on the right side, there's a list of the vital signs, and on the upper left-hand side is the normal range for a person's pulse, respiratory rate, blood pressure, um, both the systolic and diastolic ranges, which we'll talk about in a minute. And it's divided up into adults, children, and infants. Um, so who knows what exactly uh, your blood pressure is? It's the force of blood against the blood vessels. And so there's two readings. We want to look at the systolic, which measures the, the pressure against the heart when the heart contracts. And the systolic, sorry, the diastolic is when the heart is relaxed. So you have a blood pressure reading of a systolic number over a diastolic number. Um, I have a short video for you. People who have high blood pressure, 30% don't even know about it. Not getting treatment for hypertension is bad news because up to 70% of strokes are a direct result of the condition. Plus, high blood pressure contributes to heart attacks and kidney failure. To sidestep these consequences, a doctor should test your blood pressure at every checkup. Blood pressure is measured in two ways. One measurement refers to systolic pressure, which records blood pressure when the heart is contracting. The other measures diastolic pressure, or the force when the heart is relaxed. Blood pressure measurement is usually written as systolic over diastolic. Optimal blood pressure is below 120 over 80, while a measure above 140 over 90 is classified as hypertension. Blood pressure that lies in the middle is called prehypertension and means that the patient is at risk of developing high blood pressure. So let's talk about how we measure blood pressure. There's two different ways you can measure. You can auscultate, which is when you're using your blood pressure cuff, um, and your stethoscope to listen to the pulse. Another way you can do it is if you don't have a stethoscope, you can palpate um, the radial artery. Um, who would like to be a volunteer? So I'm going to place the cuff on his arm. Um, lining up the arrow with this artery. Can everyone see? Okay. And I'm going to secure the cuff. Not too tight and not too loose. Okay. And I'm going to tell the patient to relax his arm. I'm going to place the stethoscope right about here, just a little above his elbow. And then I'm going to take the bowl, and this is the bell, and I'm going to pump the cup to about 100, 200 millimeters of mercury. And then I'm going to slowly release the bell and listen for the first pulse that I hear. That's his systolic pulse. And then I'm going to listen for the last pulse that I hear, and that is his diastolic. Okay, so his blood pressure rate was about 118 over 80. Okay, now it's your guys' turn to try. Who would like to be the patient, and who would like to be the Would like to come over and watch?